in our classes so far we had seen how to create our very first visual builder application and also we had gone through what are the features available in the designer for visual builder that is to create the web applications how what is flow what is the application what are the web pages and what and all categories tasks subtasks or the functions they are having that is at application level flow level and at the page level now in this class we are going to create one web application with the help of visual builder application then we will drag and drop some simple components to begin with now let me create a fresh application let me name this as first vb app so let me name this as second vb app already first vb app we have created as of now i am not selecting any particular application template so this we will check in our later classes click on finish So this is the welcome page as we had seen in our earlier classes if you are stuck anywhere this is the links which are available we can have a look at this help forums and you can resolve the issues whatever you are facing while developing any application let me close this let me create a web app over here let me name this as web app so you can give any meaningful name which suits your implementation click on create now when we create any web application it will create a application it will create one default flow and then it will create a page so this is the page which it has created we had seen in detail that is the header footer section is coming from the shell page that is from the root pages so visual builder is making use of oj framework that is the oracle javascript extension toolkit so that is the framework which visual builder is making use of so this could be one of your interview questions so what is the javascript framework visual builder is using it is called as oj that is oracle jet or oracle javascript extension toolkit let me just minimize this now to begin with i will drag and drop over here the text component so in any programming language we begin with hello world programming so we are going to do the same thing over here let me just drop over here the text component we can drop it like this or we can drop it over here in the structure so at the structure level we will see what and all components this page is using so if we look at over here so it is having one template action slot so we can drop a button over here and we can style it accordingly suppose if you want to know what and all slots it is carrying so you can see the slots suppose if you are not interested in knowing the slots only the content hint you want is you can check mark this so there are granular level what you can see the details on this structure by default oracle will not show the slots only the content hints it will show so you are going to keep it by default so first thing is we can drop the components from the component palettes i forgot to tell you so all the components what and all we want to build our application it is visible over here suppose if you are unable to find any you can click on the search exchange or you can click on this components and you can search for the component which you are looking for specifically now we are going to discuss these things in the later classes as of now i will drag and drop this text component over here or we can drag and drop like this as well it will drop over here the bind text similarly if you want to drag and drop over here in the page you can drop like this now it has added couple of things one bind text we had dropped in the structure another bind text we had dropped on the page directly now we want only one i will click on this undo button it will undo one action back now coming to the bind text what i will do is we can display the text over here that is we can select the bind text if it is not allowing you to select that particular bind text component we can go to the structure and select this bind text now it will show the value what it is showing that is bind text over here suppose i want to name this as hello world i can name this like this hello and the world so this is how we can make use of a simple component drag and drop in the page and we can display the message something like this in our demo classes earlier we had seen how to preview this application in a browser that is by clicking on preview let me click on this preview so that it will open the web page which we have created in a browser window like this if you see it has printed our hello world message that we had drag and drop with the help of this text component from our components palette that is over here and we had provided the message that is hello world that is to be shown in this bind text component and same thing is visible over here so this is how we can start our visual builder learning journey that is to show the hello world message in our next classes we are going to enhance this application further